All right, I'm back again. So I've got the other two plugs back in the bike. And I think I've got everything settled out the way I wanted to settle it out. Um, this third uh, plug number three seems to be really good. I wanted to uh, mention a few other things about plug heat ranges. Uh, but before we do that, of course, just clean this thing and sand all over my hands. And, uh, but this one, this plug, I don't know if you could really see in the end there, but... Uh, it's actually uh, quite clean. Uh, in other words, uh, number three cylinder is actually burning quite lean. Uh, that's really clean, and then we can see this is number four. So light tan brown is good. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't know if this plug's any good or not, but light tan brown tells me that's good burn there. But uh, out of all the plugs, this one you can see it's still kind of white in there. So it's actually it's a little corroded, but it's uh, that might be a little bit on the lean side. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I'll give it a test. Do it the best way I can. So I've cleaned them. Uh, I won't be able to test the, these these ones on, on the hot. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is get all oh, settled up like so. I don't know if you'll see the multimeter in the back. But hang on. I'm just getting all settled up here. Something. Get my probe on there. Oh, that one might be overly gapped too. I think uh, four point nine. That thing. Yeah, this plug's not reading too much, so. I got something, but I'm not getting exactly what I want, so. Four point nine five nine. Okay, so it's the gap's a little bit big right here. I don't think this plug's gap properly. Trying to get the probe in there. Okay, move that up to here. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, that gap's a little bit big there. Well, uh, the plug's still good. Uh, okay, that's good. Just that it'll take its gap properly. So that, that plug's okay. Um, again, it looks like it's burning a little bit lean on, on number three. I don't know how that's possible. Um, this plug is, uh, that's after I cleaned it up too. So maybe these were new plugs that went in there <laughs> and uh, what have you, but uh, we'll see. Uh, number four here, I guess, uh, number four, I can recognize it pretty easy. So I can take that little sticker off, but I'm just going to see where number four, if I can even get a reading. When it's really dirty, it seems like I can't get a reading on it at all. So we'll, we'll see. Oh, there we go. Four. Well, it's bouncing around a lot. Uh, it's in the range, but. So, yeah, okay. So I think it's once I clean that up, it actually might not be too bad. Oh, what are we seeing? Numbers. Uh, see, I got. I'm getting some numbers there on the out shielding here. So what's happening is uh, when you, you put the positive on there, you're connecting the outer shielding to the uh, the uh, big probe in the middle. Okay? And I don't, hopefully this is a good angle enough that you can see it. If you see numbers on the outside, that means it's grounding out on the outside of the plug. And if it's grounding out on the outside of the plug, that means your plug isn't working 100% efficient. Maybe try it in a few spots because maybe there's a crack on the shielding on the inside that you're not aware of. So play around it and then uh, test them while they're hot. So test them cold, test them hot. I'm just testing them dirty. But this I, this is what's worrying me here is where's all this corrosion coming from? But the burn on it doesn't look too bad. It said, uh, again, let's put them side by side so maybe you can see it. Uh, and it was like clean like this before I, uh, I don't know if you could see, that one's a lot whiter. 
So this one's definitely burning later. This is the cleanest one so far. And you can see it's a little bit dirtier there. But I, I already cleaned up the outside of the plug so it looks better. But uh, I think what it's telling me is that uh, my plugs are okay, but they're getting tired. Uh, so it wouldn't hurt to replace them. But uh, this corrosion on the outside could be creating my problems. Um, obviously water moisture is getting in there. I don't know how it would be getting in there past the coil, but... Uh, it's getting in there. I'm going to test my coils too because I, while I have it apart, yes, I know I want to go out and I want to ride. I'm hearing all these bikes go by and every bike that goes by going, we're riding or not. I can hear it in the engine, you know. Uh, but uh, I don't want to be breaking down on the side of the road. And Maybe this bike is just going to be hard on uh, spark plugs. I don't know. I've never had a sport bike before. This is the first one I've owned. So 8,000 kilometers. I don't know, you know, if that's a... Uh, you know, a normal standard of uh, lifespan of, of a set of plugs on a, on a bike. Now, I don't ride too hot, meaning I'm not too crazy with the uh, throttle. So, uh, I don't know, but I don't know how long you can... I have opened up the bike a few times, just to be honest. And maybe that's enough to uh, burn out your plugs over time or just weaken them. So, we'll see what happens when I put these plugs back in. Hopefully, they'll be... A little bit better but I'm gonna clean up plug number four here I'm gonna put number three back in and I'll show you how I do that and uh, yeah you got to be very careful putting these plugs back in the number one plug there I'm kind of a little bit leery on that one I think it might have been partially stripped because it was the hardest plug to take out it seems like it took a little while for it to kind of come out in comparison to the other ones and when I back in it had that kind of uh, cross threaded kind of feel to it so just go really easy with it I don't think it's bad but it might require a Healy coil someday if I don't do it but the other one uh, number two went in perfectly so uh, yeah so I'll get the GoPro on there and I'll show you how I'm putting them in